Hey guys, uh, I was going to show you all a quick tip because I saw a post, um, how do I remove my white background? And so I thought I would show you all how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my cue for this new image. Um, so I'm going to be using select for this. So I've got my size here, bypass tray, coated glossy. And now I'm going to just go ahead and import my image. And I am going to upload a copy of this if you guys uh, want to download it from the group and follow along. And so let me show you what it looks like. Let's go ahead and size it down here. This is A4. And so this is the image. Let me mirror it for y'all. So it's be kind. And so what I want to do here, I'm going to re-mirror it again. Now, the first thing I want to do is go in and adjust my black. So I'm going to take those down to 15. You could probably even go all the way if you wanted, but I have not printed it, so I don't know. Uh, and then I'm going to increase my saturation by four. And I'm going to leave the rest of this the same. Now you select the white coverage that you would choose for select media on your own, depending on your printer here. And then I'm going to and I'm going to uncheck enable ink removal because I do not want any additional rasterizing on this and I'll show you guys why. So I'm going to hit OK here. And now all we want to do is remove this white background. Uh, and then I think I'm going to put it on a yellow shirt so I want to see what that's going to look like and decide if I want to uh, pull that yellow out or not. So let's go up here to Jobs, Production Plugins, Knock Me Color Out. And so it kind of automatically knows because this color is selected here. It's always, you know, at white. So even if I reset it, you'll see it's at white. So we've got this transparent under base, and this is how you can tell that it's automatically taken that white out. So now, uh, in addition to the white, I also want to remove this yellow because I'm going to put it on a yellow shirt. So let's click on color two and we'll check on this yellow here and then check enabled and you'll see now the yellow in the B is gone. So now if I want to see what that's going to look like on my shirt, I'm just going to come over here and check on this black right here and it's going to bring up these basic colors. So I'll choose yellow. Let's say that's the color of my shirt. I'll hit OK. And now I just check this box here that says shirt color. And now I can see what my graphic kind of, I mean, these colors aren't perfect, but I can see what it will look like on my shirt. So I am ready to go. I'm just going to hit OK. And that's all I'm going to do, folks. And now I'm just going to go up here and let it render. And then hit print. So I hope this was something easy for you. I think that's um, a feature that a lot of people overlook. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.